But actually, you know, what is going on on this planet? What is human history? What is a cognizing species doing running around by the billions on the surface of this planet, obsessed with religions and driven by vice and hatred and visionary longings? Not. Something has torn loose on the surface of this planet, and we are embedded in it, and we are it, and it is sweeping us and all life on this planet into some kind of apotheosis, some kind of shit hit the fan situation where all the uh, hopes and dreams and fears and obsessions are going to be held up to some kind of transcendental inspection nothing can stop this uh, perhaps you know it could have been stopped in the 12th century or the 6th century but now technical processes population growth information transfer destruction of the environment we had the great dying is well underway and the question is does this make sense and an even more cogent question, can it be made to make sense? In other words, can we come to, in the situation of a planet sinking into chaos, and somehow run around and punch some buttons and close off some areas and salvage something? Can meaning be salvaged? Or is the process that has gone on over the last uh, pick a number, but it's in the billions of years, essentially meaningless, dumb show and uh, absurdity. The really freaky thing about this, I think, is that it's not clear, that it seems to rest in the domain of human decision, that the universe is not at all what we suppose it to be, and that we are in effect presented with a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, eleven-dimensional koan, a labyrinth, a puzzle, a kind of conundrum which has to be cut through. And it's all done in the mind. The whole uh, apparent world is actually uh, syntactical in nature. This is what they don't tell you uh, in the philosophy departments or the, or the physics departments, that the universe is made of words and that there has to be a speaker and there has to be a hearer. Photons, quarks, anti new that's not what it's about. That is a linguistic model that floats above the bedrock of syntactical connectedness that mind travels through to create networks that it interprets meaningfully. That's what's really going on. <laughs>